fake. Reception to Kyle Middlebrooks. Good pick up on the first down. Victor Ayewa. Ayewa with the stop for the Huskies. Arizona State's going to take one of their three timeouts that they had left. Um, but they've done a nice job of protecting the football. That's something that really was their bugaboo coming into this ball game, turning the football over too many times. And on a, a wet night like this tonight, they've done a great job of not fumbling the football. They haven't thrown any interceptions. Really done a good job of keeping the football away from the Husky defense. You know, and, Ty, and Warren, one of the things that has caused Stephen Three to throw a lot of those interceptions is he has a lot of pressure up the middle and he doesn't do well with people around his feet. And unfortunately for the Huskies, they just haven't had enough pass rush and have not had people around him so he's been able to step into those throws and when you get a big guy like that stepping into any throw let alone on a wet night he's going to have some open targets and you got to get around his feet today's first and ten marker is brought to you by the emerald queen hotel and casino the entertainment capital of the northwest or you talked about how arizona state is taking care of the football that's a little bit out of personality they've lost 13 turnovers this season 110th nationally Reception, Jarrell Robinson inside the Husky 40. Check it, that's not Robinson who made the catch that time for ASU. That was A.J. Pickens, so number nine, not number eight. Second reception this season for Pickens. Yeah, three, Gain of 18. Three throwing the ball to a lot of different receivers today, a lot of different players playing for Arizona State today offensively. And that drag route. And it goes to number eight, Pickens again. Check it, number nine, Pickens again. Desmond Trufant with the coverage. Yeah, Pickens just running a shallow cross route. He comes from the left side of the formation all the way across to the right. Does a good job of getting what he can up the football field and gets out of bounds to stop the clock. And a lot of depth, that wide receiver position for this Arizona State offense. Three wide receivers to the left. Two to the right for Stephen Three on first down and ten. Three goes to the far sideline looking for Miles. And he made the catch. Oh, a good catch on the ground by Jamal Miles. Let's head to the Northwest Ford Sports Desk. Angie has an update on the Broncos of Boise State. Yeah, Tom, Boise State looking to move up with the loss by Alabama hosting Toledo in Boise State. But a little trickery fakes the end around. Kellen Moore rolls out, fires downfield for Titus Young, who fights his way into the end zone for the 51-yard score. Broncos beat up on the Rockets, 57-14. Angie, thanks. So Boise State rolling against Toledo with 25 seconds left here at Husky Stadium. Arizona State with a 14 to 7 lead and threatening to extend that lead. Get a good look at Dennis Erickson. Of course, is well known throughout the Northwest. Former coach, Mr. Moons, if I'm not mistaken, with the Seattle Seahawks. I got a chance to play for him for a couple of years here at the Seattle Seahawks, and I uh, really enjoyed my time with him. I, I love the offense that he ran. He ran a spread offense that was right down my alley. I got to throw the football a lot, and uh, a really good coach. He's been successful at every level that he's been at. He, he's just been around for a long time. Everywhere he goes, he finds success. Second down and five. Three. With time, looking for the end zone, and Mike Willie, Willie, what a catch, touchdown, Arizona State. Great grab and terrific throw by the Sun Devils. Well, that's just a, a big size advantage for uh, Mike Willie out there at six foot four going against Desmond Trufant, who's about 5'11", maybe six feet. This ball is thrown up high and near the back of the end zone, and Willie just kind of climbs the ladder and goes up there and gets it. He has pretty good coverage, Desmond Trufant does, but he just can't get up there to get the football at its highest point. Willie is able to do that, and the Sun Devils come up with their third touchdown of the night. And for Willie, his fourth touchdown catch, uh, catch on the season, as Weber is good with the extra point, a five-play drive covering 65 yards. And Stephen Threed on that drive, a perfect five for five. Yeah, Stephen Threed has had a big-time night. That's his second touchdown pass of the evening. He also has one on the quarterback sneak, so he's really played a huge role in the success of the Sun Devils tonight, having two touchdown passes, as I talked about, and also the, the one touchdown on the ground. 
big night for Stephen Three so far in this first half. 13 of 22. Jason is uh, three for 209 yards in those two scores. Yeah, and if you'd have told me that's the way this half is going to work out, I would have called you a liar. I was watching him throw the ball in warm-ups right before kickoff, and the ball was just coming off of his hand terrible. It didn't look like he could throw a wet ball at all. It's been absolutely opposite of that this entire first half. And Warren, you're right. That touchdown pass was in actuality thrown out of bounds, but because Willie was 6'4", 6 6'5", climbs the ladder, just a great play by a great athlete. Huskies in position, but right now, Arizona State showing their athleticism. 